Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today. Here's with the video for this Sunday, May the 10th. I'm meteorologist Bill Murray. Happy Mother's Day to everyone out there. Thank you, Mom, for everything that you do for all of us. A few national highlights on this Sunday morning. And uh, really, the cool temperatures, uh, the big story. Frost and freeze advisories cover much of the watch warning advisory map from central Alabama up through uh, into the Ohio Valley and into uh, much of the mid-Atlantic states, even up into places like uh, eastern New York, Vermont, and uh, places like that, and much of the central plains as well there. Uh, eastern Colorado, Kansas, Nebraska, uh, same thing, even other parts of the country. A little bit of a winter storm warning there. Eastern of Maine is that uh, cyclone that sort of bombed out as it went up the east coast, moved into the eastern maritime provinces of uh, Canada. Uh, other than that, we've got some, uh, still got a few flood warnings out across the, much of the uh, Mississippi Valley, we've got uh, red flag warnings there uh, in the southwest, a few wind advisories uh, as we still have a very active pattern. This is the uh, cold temperatures, um, running some 15 to 20 degrees uh, below normal, parts of Alabama, Georgia, Tennessee, Kentucky, same thing up there in central and northern plains. You can see a very cold pattern, and here's the culprit, uh, this big trough of low pressure. Uh, kind of anomalous for this time of year. We should be calming down from these high amplitude patterns as we get deeper into May. Uh, but for now, we're going to deal with this trough for a little bit longer. The other story is we need rain. These are short-term rain needs. Dr. Christie's uh, Lawn and Garden Moisture Index, University of Alabama Huntsville, uh, shows that uh, much of the state now uh, needs rain, uh, including my yard now pushing some one, one and a half inches below normal, at least uh, in the short run. No dr drought conditions, at least uh, for most of the state, Mobile and Baldwin counties are dealing with some drought. But spoiler alert, next two weeks on the GFS, not much coming. Let's dig into it. The GFS or model of choice. This is today, later on Sunday. System moving through the Great Lakes. Uh, a lot of heavy rain moving through Florida. That tropical disturbance, well, I guess not really a tropical disturbance, but area of disturbed weather. Uh, not promising to become a tropical disturbance, but here in Alabama, we're going to have a very nice day again today. Temperatures back up in the 70s, good bit of sunshine, uh, going to be a nice day for sure. So um, heading toward Monday, not much different, uh, kind of the kind of the same for Monday. I think we'll start off in the 40s, go to the lower 70s. Cold front moving through later today, you won't notice it. It's going to be a dry front, uh, but it will bring a reinforcing shot of uh, cold air. That's that system in the Great Lakes we were looking at. We'll be uh, upper 60s, lower 70s tomorrow. Good supply of sunshine, few strike cumulus clouds, uh, nothing to write home about. Uh, high pressure center just north of uh, Alabama there on Tuesday. But you can already see the return flow there back into eastern Texas, Oklahoma, uh, parts of Arkansas. That's uh, around the big high pressure system. Uh, you can see things already beginning to break down. But we stay high and dry here in Alabama. Our temperatures go back up to the middle 70s. Should be a beautiful day, starting off in the 40s across the area, uh, topping out highs, averaging around 76 on Tuesday. Then Wednesday, I think we'll start to see a lot of 80s. Uh, southerly flow returns to Alabama. Um, I don't think we get into the rainfall. Could, yeah, you really can't rule out that there might be an isolated shower edging into western Alabama, but most of the rain should stay to our west. So we probably start off in the middle 50s, uh, most folks in the lower middle 80s on Wednesday. Thursday, again, I think we're high and dry still. Start off around 60, but it really starts to warm up. Middle 80s uh, by Thursday, and these cooler temperatures are going to be but a distant memory. Friday, more of the same. We've got a southerly flow um, by that point. Stab well established. We'll start to feel humid. Overnight lows in the lower middle 60s, afternoon highs in the upper 80s. Uh, but remaining mostly dry. GFS tries to develop some sort of low-pressure system there over Florida and the northern Bahamas. Uh, early to tell whether it's just up to its old normal tricks with tropical systems or whether that's reality. That could happen. That would uh, move up to the north uh, there for sure. But this is Saturday. Uh, still more the same. Warm, mainly dry. Maybe a scattered shower or thunderstorm. That system's moving up toward the Carolinas on Sunday. 
Again, we're still mainly high and dry here in Alabama by Sunday, so the weekend looks fairly dry. Looks like that low then opens the door, probably closing off the, uh, or at least uh, shutting down that ridge of high pressure long enough to allow frontal system to edge down to the state. This is early on Tuesday the 19th, uh, showing showers and maybe some thunderstorms down into Alabama. No uh, real organized activity, no heavy rain, no severe weather, anything like that. Um, and then we, you know, stay pretty much warm and dry the remainder of that week. Uh, moving out to Saturday the 23rd, another system drifts down into Alabama. It looks like it moves on through the state and uh, all the way out to the end of the period. Memorial Day, we can see the 25th now. And uh, Memorial Day looks like uh, if the GFS's timing is right and that system uh, uh, does move through, then we would uh, have some uh, nice weather for Memorial Day. Here's temperatures off the GFS. Of course, it is model data. 70s today, a little cooler tomorrow, but you can see that gradual warm-up begin. And, uh, you know, we put a little grain of salt for that uh, 95 for next Sunday. But you can see we're going to be flirting with 90s uh, really next weekend and for much of that uh, week after that. So that's something that we'll have to watch. Hey, you gotta, you gotta listen, watch, whatever you do, however you normally consume weather brains on Monday night. We got a really special episode coming up for you. Uh, American Experience uh, on the 19th will be premiering a documentary about Theodore Fujita. And I probably don't have to tell you who he is. Mr. Tornado, uh, incredible scientist. Uh, he'll be uh, highlighting his life and work. We will actually have the filmmaker, Michael Rossi, uh, amazing uh, documentarian, uh, and the legendary Dr. Greg Forbes from the Weather Channel, uh, and who, who was a, a student of uh, Dr. Fujita's will be with us, and author Jen Henderson, who is also writing a book uh, on Fujita. That's going to be a great show. We've got a special guest that night, too, from Oklahoma. You won't want to miss it. Uh, a lot will be crammed into that hour and 45 minutes. Of course, you can watch it at live bigbrainsmedia.com. You can watch it on the Dot Two channel. Um, if you can find James's live YouTube channel, you can watch it there. And then, of course, you can get it anywhere that you normally consume a podcast. And you can find it on our weatherbrains.com website. Well, that's your weather video. Got notes on the blog for you. Be updating the forecast, giving you a noon update later today. Of course, James will be back with two a day starting tomorrow. Scott will be here next Saturday. And I will be looking forward to next Sunday when I will get to sit here. And as I always tell you all week, keep an eye to the sky because you'll always have something fun to look at. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.